Hilton Head Island Mayor John McCann did not sign up for this when he ran for office about a year ago, uh, trying to herd the cats uh, in his own council and state legislators and the governor and everyone else. Mayor McCann, let's start with the civics lesson uh, that we are all learning about how government works in South Carolina. You would very much like to, and the town council would very much like to, kind of shut things down here on the island. The governor hasn't wanted to go that far. Uh, where, where are we in that process? Well, first of all, good morning. And good morning. At my opening comments, I'd like to say social distancing and washing your hands are the most important things we can do. Absolutely. Not only doing this crisis, but forever. Yep. I mean, this is gonna be something with us for a long time. As mayor of the town of Hilton Head, I had the authority to close the beaches and set curfews. Everything else comes out of the governor's office. The governor has the right to declare um, that we can eliminate short-term rentals, we can close hotels, we can close restaurants, we can close bars, we can close access to beaches. It all comes out of the governor's office. It's been very difficult for us to get a decision and I do talk to the governor three or four times a week. He's very understanding. Mm -hmm. He knows what our issues are. And our issues are different than other communities. I mean, our issues are here, not only do we have partially an aging population, but we have 40,000 people live here, and 40 some odd percent of our property owners have second homes here. Mm -hmm. And the majority of those second home owners come from New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Michigan, and Ohio. And they come here, and they're here now because it's their second home. Sure. But they come with the possibility of maybe carrying the Corona virus with them. So we ask them when they come here, would they please self-quarantine for 14 days? Some will, some won't. Uh, we need the governor to give us the authority to stop rentals on the island for the month of April. We need the governor to give us the authority to have stay at home for 30 days during the month of April. We need governor to reinforce through the sheriff's office the people that are quarantine or voluntary quarantine for 14 days when they come from one of the states where the coronavirus is very serious. And and you you lay that out, and yet the attorney general has said that he's not he's not going to himself prosecute towns that have gone ahead and issued stay-at-home orders like Charleston and Columbia and you have a sheriff who says he works for the governor during times of emergency and he's gonna do what the governor tells him to do. It, it, it's a very difficult time but there's always yeah. good parts of a difficult time. Yeah, let's time. talk about that. Our supermarkets, Kroger's, Harris Teeter's, yeah. Whole Foods, they've all come along and they now have special hours in the morning for the senior citizens Monday through Thursday to go out and be by themselves and shop by themselves. They've also laid out distancing lines in the stores so people know how far six foot apart, eight foot apart is. The, the, the supermarkets have gone very well into this along the way. I went to visit my doctor the other day and, and if you were gonna be next to be called, they asked you to wait outside in the street so everybody wouldn't be in the office. Mm -hmm. I think that businesses are taking the right approach if you leave them alone, but we, think we need things to be done now. The next 30 days is very critical, so it's important that everybody not only has social distancing, wash their hands, but the governor needs to help us. Yeah. Um, as we continue that, and, and, and the interesting thing is you have the other towns in the county uh, that are maybe not as completely uh, dependent on tourism as, as Hilton Head is. You're, they're, they're behind you. Uh, the whole county seems to be together on this. Yeah, the, the, the town of Bluffton, the city of Port Royal, the city of... Uh, Buford mm -hmm. and Yemisi and myself have all filed a petition to the governor asking him to do certain things. It was sent uh, on Friday. He received it on Friday, and we will follow up on that tomorrow, giving him two days to respond to what we need along the way. This is not just Hilton that's standing by itself. It's right. our neighbors that are affected and standing with us at the same time. In the meantime, uh, what should we be doing? Uh, I mean, you, you talked about washing hands and, and staying, uh, using social distancing, uh, but otherwise, uh, to keep from going stir crazy, uh, getting out and, and doing a few things is a good thing. Well, one more thing, what we should be doing, yeah. you should assume that everybody you come into contact with might have the coronavirus or might be carrying it. You should be safe with everybody that's around you. Assume the worst and we'll get the best out of this. Now, people are still out playing golf, I suggest you use one to a golf cart. Okay. People should still be out doing some walking along the way. Uh, there's things we can do to stay healthy. 
But remember, social distancing is very, very important. Be All careful right. out there. Indeed. Mayor John McCann, we'll stay in touch. Thank you so much for joining us. When we come back, we're going to hear from State Representative Jeff Bradley.